హలో ఎవ్రీవాన్ వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ మెట్లర్జీ క్రిస్ప్ గేట్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ టూ రిజల్ట్స్ అబీన్ అవుట్ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు కంగ్రాచులేట్ ఆల్ దోస్ పీపుల్ హూ హ్యావ్ సెక్యూర్డ్ ద ర్యాంక్ ది వాంటెడ్ సో కంగ్రాచులేషన్స్ టు యూ అండ్ ఫర్ దోస్ పీపుల్ హూ హ్యావ్ ఫెయిల్ టు గెట్ ఎ గుడ్ ర్యాంక్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ సిలి మిస్టేక్స్ ఆర్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ద రీజన్ ప్లీజ్ డోంట్ గెట్ డిస్ హార్ట్ అండ్ యూ టు హ్యావ్ అ లాట్ ఆఫ్ ఆప్షన్స్ ప్లీజ్ స్టేట్ యూన్ ఇన్ ద యాండ్ ఐమ్ గోన్ డిస్కస్ ద కంపెనీస్ విచ్ డు నాట్ రిక్వైర్ గేట్ ర్యాంక్ friends in this video i'm gonna show you my gate 2022 rank card and i'll do a simple analysis i'll just compare the ranks of this year with past years and then some of you must be having doubts whether you should give bar exam or not maybe you you have scored very well in gate exam so you must be thinking of not giving bar exam so i'll tell you up to what rank you can be so sure of not giving bar exam then friends i'll discuss the options that we are having after gate 2022 all the psus whether you want to go for mtech even for mba we have a choice of options friends let's look at my rank card of gate 2022 metallurgy friends this is my gate 2022 metallurgy rank card i have scored 77 marks out of 100 the normalized score is 888 and the final all india rank is 6. Friends, here with just 77 marks, I got All India Rank 6. You are going to know why I just said just 77 marks. So friends, let's do a little analysis. Let's compare the marks with the past 2021 metallurgy gate. If you look at the past scores for gate 2021, to get a rank below 10, you need to score more than 85 marks. Even if you score 77 marks or more than that, you're going to get a rank below 50. For 72 marks, you get a rank below 100. But friends, look at gate 2022 with just 77 marks. I got a 6, which means maybe 75 marks is our below 10 limit. So friends, here you can clearly see, I, I'm not going to comment on the difficulty level of the paper because the marks speak for itself. Friends, let's see what made the paper difficult or the students are scoring comparatively less marks than 2021. <clears throat> is it because of the numericals is it the numericals are that difficult to score according to me no friends what made the paper more trickier is multiple select questions i believe this type of new introduction to gate is the reason people are not scoring comparatively well but it doesn't make a difference friends because this is same for everyone who faced the exam friends now let's look at the point should you give bark exam depending on your gate rank. In 2021, BARC has called 90 candidates for the interviews. Here, are the, here is the great news, friends. Out of 90, 9 people got selected. Our selection ratio is 1 is to 10 in the last year, which is comparatively far better, which is there for the other branches. Out of these 90 students, 45 students are being selected through gate and 45 through the exam. Here, our main importance is 45 through gate. Here, there is a twist that out of these 45 students, some are being selected from gate 2020 and gate 2021. So, this 45 is again going to split. Friends, you may think they'll select 12 members from this and 12 members from this. Or, sorry, 22 from this, 22 from this, overall, like, make up to 45. But that is not exactly true, friends. They don't select based on rank you got in gate exam, but they select through the normalized score you got in the gate exam. Friends, to understand this properly, consider three cases. This is candidate 1, 2 and 3. Candidate 1 wrote gate 2021, he got 820. But his normal score is 769. But these 2 and 3 wrote gate 2022, one got 830 and 772. So cutoff is 770. Here, if you just look at the 820s, you think both should get selected for the interview. But look at the normal score. This candidate, even though he scored 820, he won't be get, he won't be selecting for the interview but this guy even though air 40 he got he cleared cut off so please friends please concentrate on the normalized marks you got not just the rank friends the cutoff for these is usually around 780 770 790 it may change some 20 plus minus plus minus 20 it can change every year so unless you score greater than 800 you cannot be certain that you're gonna get selected for the interview even if you sc score more than 800, there is a 99% chance that you may get selected. But friends, don't ignore that 1%. 
So friends, my humble suggestion is please write Bark 2022 to avoid any possible disappointment. So all the best for the exam. If you have scored well in GATE, which means Bark is not at all difficult for you friends. Please just go and give the exam. Friends, before discussing the future options for our metallurgy students after GATE, if you are preparing for the interviews or you are preparing for BARC Mindhani exams or you are preparing for upcoming GATE, please do subscribe to our channel. I'm going to post regular videos which will create resources for the metallurgy students. Extractive metallurgy lectures are on the way as it has been requested by one of my subscribers. Friends, now let's discuss or look at all the future possibilities or options we are having after GATE 2022. Friends, I'm going to list out all the companies that may recruit and the companies that, that have already announced that they're going to recruit. Friends, here I'm going to list out all the companies, not only through GATE, I mean all the companies which have their own exam and through GATE. Friends, these are the most of the companies. If you know any companies other than these, please do comment. That will help many of the students. So let's see. These are the companies that have already announced. IOCL is going to recruit through GATE and BARC two channels, DRDO mostly through GATE, NALCO is completely GATE, Midhani it, it is having its own exam, I hope many of you are preparing for this exam. Friends, companies that may recruit, friends, SAIL has been our biggest culprit, they should be recruiting metallurgists, but their last recruitment was 2019. So it is very sad because I don't know what is going on with them. and then. Bureau of Indian Standards, friends, the notification that you must be seeing in BIS, which is not for 2022 recruitment. So there is a possibility that BIS, Bureau of Indian Standards, might recruit metallurgy students. Wysak Steel, again, we cannot be so sure about Wysak Steel because the results of 2020 have not yet been released. So we cannot be so sure whether Wysak Steel is going to recruit or not. But IGCR, Indira Gandhi Center, this might recruit because I think the last year process is still going on, so this is another company. And Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, unfortunately, they are not hiring in their advertisement. They didn't mention metallurgies. Friends, if you have performed very well in GATE 2022, these are all the opportunities. For those who failed to uh, give the exam properly, they still have a choice of they can perform BAR, Mithani, and if at all, Wysak still recruits. Please prepare well, friends. These exams are not so difficult. BAR, in particular, it is going to be very easy. If you are serious about getting into any of the PSUs, please be prepared. For the, the BARC and DRDO, these interviews requires a basic level of understanding of all the concepts. So please be concentrated on the basics of the all the concepts. For that, you can subscribe to our channel. This channel mainly concentrates for making the students understand the basics clearly. Friends, let's look at our second option, which we have is doing MTech from good institute, institutes if you are interested in doing research and thinking of continuing your education even after mtech by doing phd by to become a researcher or a professor this is going to be very best option for you friends if you have scored very well in gate there is a chance of up to 40 isc calls for interviews so there is a chance if you scored around 40 there is a chance that you may get into the isc bangalore which is very prestigious institute mainly for our metallurgy and then comes IIT and NITs. Friends, for these, I'm not giving any cutoffs because you can easily find them just by Googling. You're going to get all the information. If your GATE score is not well enough to get into, into a PSU, but whatever your score is, there is a chance for you to get into most of these prestigious institutes, IITs and NITs. Friends, here, I want to mention a fun fact. Friends, even if you have no interest in doing MTech, or you're thinking of staying at home, taking a year drop and preparing for the gate. Here is the fact for you. Out of all these below 100 ranks, most of the students are from IITs or NITs who are doing MTech. Even if you ignore the degree friends, joining these prestigious institutes gives you an exposure to infrastructure and the great professors from which you can learn and improve your concepts. Even if you're not interested in the MTech, if you join, there is a chance that your knowledge may get polished and you may learn new things which will help not in the exams but in the interviews that you're going to face after clearing the exams. By staying at the home and preparing well, you can crack exams but for the interviews, you need interaction with the professors and also that might help you. 
by saying this i am con concluding the second choice amtech or metallurgy students friends and third option is we can do mba from nitie mumbai through gate score this is also an amazing opportunity friends for those who couldn't clear cat or who have already scored very well in gate 2022 or they even take past scores as well so this is also an amazing opportunity for those who want to pursue their career in business friends thank you so much for watching please do subscribe to get more interesting videos from metallurgy all the very best for your upcoming exams and interviews signing off take care